here's another thought about this blog. Uh, this isn't just going to be like some journal entry, some little video diary or something like that. I'd also like to have uh, an outlet for my thoughts, my ideas, discussions we have at the shop, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe it'll spark some interesting debate with the people who watch this. I'd like feedback on the things that I talk about. So if you guys want to leave comments, you want to send me emails, letters, faxes, messages. I don't have a fax machine. Anyway, I'll... Um, Today, uh, our company commander, she takes uh, like an hour, an hour and a half during each week uh, to discuss certain topics with us that uh, she thinks should be brought to our attention for debate. Today, she decided to discuss an interesting subject, uh, one that I think is actually pretty volatile, uh, and it actually brought up a lot of different opinions, which surprised the hell out of me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, she decided to discuss torture. Now... I don't remember the exact definition of torture, and, you know, of course it depends on the, the source of the definition on whether or not people are going to agree with it, but I think the general definition that was given was anything that uh, inflicts a, an extreme amount of bodily pain, uh, equivalent to, like, organ failure, it's ridiculous, I know, or anything that'll create lasting psychological damage, um, e.g., over the course of months or years, something that's going to affect people over a long, long period of time. Frankly, that seems a, a bit generic, a, a really ambiguous to me. Uh, I think that torture is, is definitely more narrow than that. You can't make it so general, because uh, that leaves open room for interpretation, and I think people are going to take advantage of it. Now, I mean, we, we really only discussed two instances, and I mean, when you really think about it, I guess there really are only the two instances which we discussed. Uh, the first instance was uh, in war, in actual combat, uh, for instance, in Iraq. The infantry troops who were over there who were fighting. Uh, she brought up the question of whether or not it's A, lawful, or B, moral, to use torture as an interrogation tactic. Excuse me. Um, some, some people felt that uh, torture in any instance is warranted as a source of uh, gathering information, whereas other people were extremely morally high-grounded with uh, no, very vehement no in every instance. And I, mm, I, I really hate to play both fields, and frankly, I really hate to admit that I condone it in any instance, but personally, I feel that uh, it's a situational dictates sort of thing. Situational dictates. The situation dictates. I mean... <laughs> she, she, she gave us a statistic that said that before September 11th, an annual average of TV torment scenes was about four, whereas uh, since 2001, since September 11th, uh, just the season, or the show 24, has shown 67 different torture scenes uh, in its six now seasons that have run. That, that's a fascinating idea that America has become so accustomed, so dehumanized, desensitized to it, the idea of torture, that it's a commonplace thing in TV shows. And that's only one TV show. But at the same time, when you really think about it, it it's more than just a moral question. It's more than just a law question. It's a question of whether or not it actually gets results and whether or not it's actually a morally sound thing to do. Um, people argue that we, we shouldn't use torture because it puts us on the same level as the people that we're fighting. But frankly, I don't, I don't think that's a fair thing to say because they don't see things the way we do. Uh, their logic doesn't work in the same capacity. And they may think that it's a perfectly normal thing to do to torture people to get information. So it's not like we can say, well, <laughs> we're better than them because in their eyes, they're better than us. So uh, the argument that I presented was that it... Uh, how best to put this, um, they don't care what it takes to get results. Uh, really, all they're worried about is winning. Uh, I'm not really sure how they're going to define winning other than just getting America out of their country, wherever it may be, not just in Iraq, uh, in Afghanistan, Pakistan, wherever. The point is, they are so dead set on their goal that they're willing to do anything. Um, the question that she brought up is whether or not it's alright for us to be in that same mindset, whether or not it's alright to sacrifice morals and laws in order to gain that, that hold, to, to gain the upper hand in this war that we're fighting. Um, the interesting thing is that a lot of people, a lot of people were very 
dead set against it at all odds, against all costs, uh, saying that women be morally higher than the people that we're fighting. And again, you know, I'll submit the fact that uh, morals are a very subjective thing, depending on your religion, your background, your environment, your, your country, your politics. So, frankly, uh, when it really gets down to it, this is what I have to say about torture. Uh, the situation will dictate. Uh, there are two different types that we really need to address. There's combat, uh, when you're in the heat of the moment, you need to get information quickly. Uh, it's vital to the mission, or it's vital to the safety of those that you're defending, or to those that are around you, uh, say your Marines, your troops, your soldiers, whatever. Uh, there's another instance, uh, I mean, this is more like CIA, FBI kind of stuff. But with terrorists on the home front, uh, people that are suspected or people that have been accused and that uh, have been implicated in terrorist activities in the United States. Frankly, I think there are better ways that we can deal with people um, in some instances. And I hate to say it, but I think in some cases, there's just no other alternative. Uh, they're so dead set on fighting, fighting whatever it is that we do. Um, you know, standing up and you know, being strong against whatever sort of tactics we use, that eventually um, some form of torture is all that you can really use to elicit a response. Now, granted, in some cases, it may not even be the correct response, it may not be a truthful response, it may be an act of desperation, where they're just trying to get us off their backs. But I think at that moment, I'd rather have said, I did something even if it was wrong, even if it got the wrong result, than to have done nothing at all. So, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, I'm not okay with it, but I'll deal with it, because really, what else can you do? Other people may feel differently, and I'd really like to hear your thoughts, your ideas. So, it is December 28th, uh, it was a pretty uneventful day again, we sat at the shop for a while, we had a barbecue, oh, it was nice, it was a good barbecue. Um, we just got released for our 96 for the weekend, for New Year's, pretty stoked about that. So, uh, let me know what your thoughts, your ideas are, get back to me, I'll be around, keep in touch.